All right, I'm going to show you how to make an email signature for free. There are existing email signature services online that are great where they host your email signature. You can create an account, create tons of email signatures for everybody in your organization, manage them all from one place. You know, you make a change on one of them and it makes a change to all of them. It's super convenient and I highly recommend using that service. Um, there's a great service like email or signature dot email.com. Um, let's see, I was just playing around with that. Okay, so um, signature.email.com, uh, but it does cost some money. And so I was uh, trying to figure out a workaround for small businesses that don't really want to pay, uh, you know, however much money per month. Um, so if that is you, you'd like to have a workaround, um, then this video is for you. So what we're gonna do is uh, go on ahead and open up Google Docs. By the way, I'm using a MacBook Pro and uh, I use Google products. So um, we're gonna use Google Docs to create the email signature. Now the reason we're gonna use something like Google Docs, which you could use you know, Microsoft products as well, but the reason why is because it needs to be something that's online. Um, because uh, so that when we copy and paste it, it reflects accurately into the email address, into the email signature. I'm sure there's ways to do it where you don't have to have it on an online platform, but that's the way we're going to do it. Okay, first we're going to create a table, and it's just going to be two cells. Okay, and what I'm going to do is drop this down. Now, eventually, what I'll do is I will make these uh, borders invisible. But for right now, I'm not because it's so much easier to edit them when I can actually see them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create, uh, I'm going to have my headshot here with the business logo here and then all the contact information over here. And it's going to look like, I just made this for a client. It's going to look something like this. Um, this is a new client of mine. And this is what her email signature looks like. So it's super clean. It looks really good. Um, her headshot here, logo here, you know, name, position, company she's with, a link to Facebook. Um, I've, you know, hidden her uh, mobile number for obvious reasons. Um, and so uh, th this is essentially what we're going to be doing. Uh, so I'll walk you through that. Okay, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an image here to insert. Now I like this circular image, so I'm going to walk you through how to create a circular image and how to put the logo underneath. And, in my, and then really what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the circular image and the logo as one image because it's way easier to use inside this box when it's saved as one image. So I'll show you how. Go on ahead and open up Keynote. And if you don't have Keynote, good luck. Maybe use something else. Um, I like to always um, change the dimensions of screens to 2000 by 2000. I like working with squares. It's so much easier. Create extra slides. It's just my thing. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my image. So let's see. I'm going to go to Anderson, Freelancers, Joel. Let's see. I'm going to find a good image of myself. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. I'm going to make this circular. How do I do that? I'm going to go to Format, Image, Mask with Shape. Now I'm going to choose Oval. Okay, as you can see, it made an oval. Now here's one little trick here. I want to expand this, right? But if I go the wrong way, it doesn't really keep the proportions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Shift key while I grab the corner and then expand it. And you can see as I move it around, it's keeping the proportions. Um, let's see, I'm probably going to make it that size. Drop it down to about there. Now I'm going to edit it because I don't really like it. I'm going to edit the mask. Now let's see, I'm going to go here. And I think that's pretty good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, let's see, let me check the dimensions of this. This looks weird, doesn't it? Yeah. That's all messed up. How did that happen? Edit mask. It did not keep the proportions. Oh, it's because it started as an oval and I never turned it into a circle. Okay, so now I'm turning it into a circle. You can see the dimensions there. They just need to be the same. 614 by 614. Boom. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my logo underneath. 
I can see Anderson, the logo, official logo, horizontal. What do I want to use? No. I want to use this. Yep, that's the one I want to use. I'm going to put this in here. Okay, and then I'm going to make it about the same width here. I like the way that looks, that's pretty good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm actually clean this up a little bit. Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna put a box behind this, and I'm gonna save it all as one image. Now the reason I'm gonna make a box behind it is because I want, oh, I'm gonna use a white box. Actually, I'm gonna use a colored box at first. I'm gonna Move this to the back, okay? And I'm gonna add this, I'm gonna save all this, and then what I'm gonna do is add it into here, okay? So here I am, I'm making this, and I like the dimensions. Let me get everything center aligned, just to make sure that I'm doing everything right. And get this image here, and then this right there. Okay, good, that's exactly how I want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this box, I'm going to turn it to white, okay, and now I'm going to highlight all of it, and I'm going to hit Command C. You can also just do Edit Copy. Now I'm going to open up Preview. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of steps here. You can see Preview is open, but it's actually like invisible. It doesn't look like it opened, but you can see in the top left it is actually open. File, New from Clipboard. There it is, right there. Looks good. Now I'm going to just close out of it, which forces me to ask me if I want to save it. And I'm going to say yes. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And I'm going to hit save. It's going to save to my desktop. There it is. Right there. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to Google Docs. And I'm going to drag this in right here. Perfect. That's exactly how I want it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to type my information. Joel Widman, owner, Anderson the fish, uh, business, 9375505, almost forgot, 0761, mobile, not going to put that online, and then email, actually I don't need to write out email, it's implied. There's all my information right there. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add in um, a social media icon here. Um, I have several social media accounts, but I'm gonna make this very simple um, and not do all my social media accounts. I'm just gonna choose one. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to flaticon.com. This is my favorite place to find icons. I'm gonna search for Facebook. And I am going to use this one. I'm going to choose a small version. You don't want the 512. It's just too big. Uh, unless you're using it for something big. But I'm going to use 16. Free download. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's going to go. There it went. Okay. Now go back here. Download. It might be too pixelated, we'll see. Oh, no, it looks pretty good. Great, that's pretty perfect. Now, okay, here's the thing. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to link um, this to my actual Facebook page. So I'm gonna go to Anderson, I'm gonna go to my Facebook page, which is right here. Come on, internet, here we go. I'm going to click the image, and then I'm going to choose link. There it is, just like that. Now, when I drop this whole thing into my email signature, if someone clicks on this or taps on this from their phone, it will take them immediately to the Facebook page. Okay, there's that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to 
Um, well, let's see. This should already be linked. Let me make sure. Yes, that is that is linked. But I don't like that it's blue. I never, I never liked that. There we go. I just un-underlined it and then turned it to black. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to link this. So click the link button, paste it in. Boom, it's linked. You can tell it worked because it changed color, but I'm going to change it back, which still maintains the link linkability, if you will. Um, but I'm just changing the way it looks. Okay, here's the cool thing. You can actually link phone numbers. Here's how you do it. Um, I Googled this, so here it is. All you do is you take this link, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, link here. We're going to put that, and then you follow it with the phone number, 937-505-0761. Apply. Boom. Now someone can actually click on the phone number in the email, and it's going to work. Okay. That's that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the design a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm doing. Now, look at the space here. I want a, kind of an equal space going the other way. So probably five spaces. I don't know. I like that. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So fun to watch this, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this, let's see, um, Helvetica, because you know, it's Helvetica. And I actually am going to change the size down to like 10. That looks pretty good. Now, okay, I'm going to move on to this, and I'm going to change the lines. I want to get rid of these lines. I don't like that it's a box. Okay, so I'm just going to click this line and make it zero points. This line, zero. This line, but remember, I kept the lines there at first because it's way easier to edit the box when you can see everything. This line, here. This line, here. And boom, I have a pretty decent looking email signature. Um, I'm gonna drag this in. There we go, it doesn't need to be any bigger. See, I should have done this while while I had the borders, while I could see the borders. That's not gonna go up any further because this image is kind of pushing into it. Okay, this is my email signature. And let's say I wanted to create more of these. I'm just gonna copy it, go down a few, paste it. And then what I can do is just swap out the image and um, swap out the information for like an employee or whoever's on your team. Okay, so um, don't need that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all this, okay? And now I'm going to go to my email signatures in Gmail, which this is just how to do it in Gmail. Okay, so I'm going to use my personal. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm going to go to the gear, the settings icon. Go to settings and see all settings. Now I'm going down to general. Okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to paste it in here. This is my current email signature just for my personal email. I'm going to get rid of that. Perfect. Now, you have to make sure you hit save. Otherwise, it won't save. Go figure. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to compose a new email. Boom. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that for something that only took a few minutes to make. I'm going to send a test email. Joel at Anderson the Fish. Test number one. See how it looks on the receiving end. So I'm sending it to another email address of mine. Test number one. Let's search for that. Mm, no, nope. hasn't come through yet because that other one I just showed you is from something I did yesterday. There it is. Okay, took a second. There it is. That is the email signature. Now you notice that it kept the underline, which is really annoying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. I'm going to un-underline. There's got to be a better word for that. Un-underline. Command U, Command U, or you can just click this and this. Mm, that's not working. Hmm, it's not going to work. Anyway, not the end of the world. Um, not sure how to fix that, but it is what it is. 
I don't like that it's underlined, but at least it indicates to people that it, they can click it. They can click it, and that's nice. Okay, so that is how to create an email signature. I hope this was helpful. Um, if it was, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And uh, yeah, hope you have a good day. Thank you.